Welcome back to my channel. I have a collaboration for you guys today from a Facebook group. Bienvenidos para atrás. Tengo una colaboración hoy con el grupo El Arte en Tus Manos. So the theme, more like challenge, was to do a mermaid tail. And you know, I've already done a few of them myself. So I'm already familiar with this challenge. El reto era hacer una cola, una cola, una cola de sirena. So the first thing I'm doing is sketching out the mermaid tail and I'm going to be using poly gel and I got this idea from Nora so I will list her video down below. So once I'm done sketching the tail on a little paper, I'm going to put a piece of plastic on top. It's a see-through plastic, you know the little plastic sheet where stickers come in. I'm going to put that on top of the image and then I'm going to go in with the poly gel, clear poly gel and start filling in that mermaid tail shape. Once I'm done filling it in, I'm going to pop this into the UV LED nail lamp, cure it for 30 to a minute, 30 seconds to a minute, and as you can see, it peels off easily. And before I put this on the nail, I'm going to bend it a little bit in the center. And as you can see, it fits perfectly on the nail since we sketched it. Now I'm just going to add a border of poly gel on the bottom tip of the nail so the mermaid tail could fit snugly. and. I must say this this way was much easier for me. It was not time consuming. It was super easy and fast. Glitter mix I am using is called Galaxy from Cynthia Aguilar. So ever since I started doing the mermaid tails, I wanted to do one like Galaxy themed mermaid tail. So that's why I'm using this perfect name Glitter Mix Galaxy. So I tried to mix the poly gel and glitter on this little palette here, but it did not work out. It did not want to stick to the nail, and that's because I forgot to add my base coat to the nail. Because you know, poly gel needs a sticky base. So if you are going to do this on nails, add your base coat. So I just went ahead and just added the poly gel straight to the nail, and then I dabbed the glitter mix on top, and that kind of worked better. Here is the finished look. Pop it into the lamp and cure. And once it's done curing, I'm gonna go in with my e-file and start smoothing out the edges of the tail and the nail. Once I'm done filing, I remove the dust with alcohol and a lint free wipe and the next is time to paint the tail. I am using Finger Paints Gel Polish in the shade Black Canvas and as the name says is a black gel polish. I did three. 
three thin layers and cure them in between. So to give it like a galaxy feel, I went in with Model Wands Thermal Color Changing Cat Eye in the shade I Feel Hot. And I started painting it on top of the black. I'm going to be using my Beauty Big Bang Magnetic Stick and I'm using that rectangle bar shape one to get like that cat eye effect. Once I'm done, pop it in the lamp and now I'm going to go in with white gel polish in the shade, keeping it realism from finger paints. And I'm going to outline the fin with the white gel polish and I'm using my Nicole Diary liner brush. I decided to draw some little stars on the tail. Once I'm all done, I'm gonna pop this into the lamp and cure for a minute. Now with Model One's Dreamy Silver, I decided to add a little bit extra sparkle onto the tail and on top of the white lines that I drew. Since this is a galaxy tail, I decided to take it one more step further. Today marks the 50th anniversary of the first man landing on the moon. So I decided to make this to make this design dedicated to that. So I am drawing the moon here. I start drawing in his little feet on the moon. Since they already had their first man on the moon, now they're trying to make the first females women on the moon. So let's see how that goes. What are your thoughts on that? And lastly, you know, go in and outline the little astronaut dude. Where were you guys when the first man landed on the moon? I'm pretty sure some of us were not even born yet. Well, I definitely was not born yet. I was born 1988. Let's see, my mother was born 1968. So the first man landing on the moon happened in 1969. So she was one years old, but she was in her home country. I don't know if she saw this through her, well, she wouldn't even remember anyways. But yeah, where were you guys?
and here is the finished look I did add a little bit of clear rhinestones in the mermaid tail fin part I hope you guys enjoyed this nail art and I'm really happy and excited I finally did like galaxy themed mermaid tail it just happened to be on the 50th anniversary of the moon landing which that was so awesome and cool so I will see you guys in the next one bye and don't forget to go check out the other ladies design too their links will be in the description box below bye I can love you.